Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another little impromptu discussion. Got another flashlight for you guys to show you. And this flashlight is considered by anybody who's into flashlights, anybody who knows flashlights to be like the holy grail of EDC flashlights. This is, uh, this is supposed to be the bomb. Let me present to you let me present to you the Zebralite SC700D. This is the non-floody non -floody, uh, version of it. And I got some notes for the specs here to, to show you, but this uses a, uh, a Cree XHP 70.2. It's, uh, it's a big boy. It's a big whopper. Uh, high has been tested on the highest setting. It's been tested about 2,900 lumens. Um, one of the things ZebraLite is known for is true accurate reading. So if they say it's 2,900, it's probably going to be really close to 2,900 or slightly over. So uh, the medium high setting is 565. So that gives you an idea of what the medium setting would be. There's a, a sub mode as well. It's a little bit lower. Uh, and then for the low mode, there is a 31 lumens in low, which is perfect for me. The sub mode is 11 lumens, so gives you an idea of what you can expect there. Battery is a 21700, which is slightly longer than an 18, uh, 18650, and slightly larger diameter as well. Uh, the head is one and a half inches, so the head is slightly larger around than you're normally used to from an EDC light. That's where the the bigness or the largeness comes in and in, uh, into play is the head uh, body is just over one inch the diameter of the body is just over one inch so it's it's normal girthed in the shaft uh, area uh, weight is 3.2 ounces without the battery so with the battery because the 21700 is kind of a, a bulky battery it's it's a big battery uh, this is a little bit heavier than a normal EDC light, but in my personal opinion, it's not that big a deal. Uh, okay, everybody, let's uh, let's take a look at the beam pattern, or the beams, the brightnesses, the settings for the Zebra Light SC700D. Here is that is uh, the first moonlight, and the way the Zebra Light works is it's got high, medium, and low. And for every high, medium, and low setting, you have another, uh, an alternate setting. For the low, you hold down the button for low, and then when you have it on, you wait like one second, and you double tap to get the other moonlight, and that's barely visible. That's a really low, uh, really, really, really low moonlight. Double tap again, and then that's the... Um, secondary low and if you leave it here you turn the light off and it'll stay in that low so now let's go to medium okay so here's here's medium and here's the alternate medium that's a slightly less bright medium here's the other medium that's the other medium and let's turn it back off it'll hold that setting and let's go to the high there's high and let me get let me show you the alternate high I don't know if that's representing how bright um, how bright that is let's uh, let's go to the alternate oh wow okay I don't know if you guys can tell how bright that is but the that lit up the entire uh, room bouncing off the wall. I'm probably about 10 feet from the wall and the entire room is lit up like a Christmas tree and the light does get a little warm on its highest setting. Now let's go to the alternate and I think it can hold this for a really long time but uh, that's how it works and now you can uh, custom program this light any way you want and it's uh, to be honest with you Pretty confusing to me, and I don't want to dive into it. But if you're a, 
a super flash flashlight nerd, you could totally do that. But the UI of a zebra light, um, I think you either love it or hate it. When I first when I first got the zebra light, when I first got the first zebra light, I wasn't sure that I liked it. At first, I didn't like it because it was so different. Then once I got used to it and used it a lot, I found that. I really liked it a lot, and that's the reason why I bought the second Zebra Light. So, so those are the beams, just to kind of show you, and you can kind of see that uh, the beam, this is high again, but this is the alternate high, the lower of the two highs. Um, the beam is, is, a, is a really nice beam. There's a, there's a slight... This is, this is the warm version, by the way. I think that that's like a, a slightly green uh, tint on the outside of the uh, hot spot. But uh, other than that, it's, uh, it's an absolutely beautiful beam. Okay, guys. Well, after the demonstration of how the modes work, um, let me go ahead and just kind of talk to you about the quality of the flashlight. Overall quality of the flashlight is, um, it's, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Um, what started the zebra light thing for me was um, I found a zebra light, a, a double A zebra light. I found it on OfferUp used for 15 bucks. Well, that's shipped even. So it was like 10 bucks, $5 for shipping. And I just decided I'd give Zebra Light a try for 15 bucks. Why not? So I did. And I really liked what I saw. As a matter of fact, that little AA flashlight's my favorite uh, around the house flashlight. I carry it like in my short pocket and stuff like that when I'm just walking around the house. I really like it. Um, so I decided to go um, full tilt boogie, balls deep, if you will, and get the most expensive flashlight uh, that they have as far as I know. Um, so what do I think of that? The quality is, is, is amazing. This is machined from a solid stock of aluminum. This isn't pieced together and screwed together and stuff like that. Um, the body of the flashlight seems to be one piece and it seems to be pretty uh, bulky. The LED is huge. The LED on this thing is just, is just huge. Um, and it's got a orange peel reflector. So the, the beam pattern from this is floody, but super bright. And basically what this light reminds me of is the exact same kind of light I, I was getting from the um, Claris G20L almost the exact same kind of beam pattern, same kind of brightness, same everything from a much more compact flashlight. The button is, is uh, recessed drastically. The button is just drastically recessed. So it, I've never accidentally turned this flashlight on. It does come with a pocket clip, a set of O-rings, and an interesting thing about this flashlight is it doesn't have springs in it. I've never seen this before. Um, and I know that some people uh, hate this. Some people like this, some people hate this. Um, but it's got these, instead of springs, it's got these multiple contact nubs. And when I first saw that, I was like, ooh, wow, that's weird. I've never seen that before. I, I don't think I like that. And a lot of people claim that if you drop the flashlight, that these will damage the battery. I haven't experienced that um, myself. I mean, it does scratch. It does kind of scratch the kind of the, the tail cap there. Um, so this uh, flashlight operates on a 21700 battery. And it will only operate with unprotected cells, flat top unprotected cells, uh, because of the length. I mean, this flashlight barely, it's made to be as compact as possible so the battery just barely fits in there. See that? I mean, it's, it's just barely, barely fitting in there. So 
Um, it's kind of important which battery you choose. You can definitely pick the one they recommend uh, off their website. And uh, I, the one I'm using is an eFest. Um, battery is awesome, works great. One of the things I need to tell you that's kind of, I don't know if it's a negative or, 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 or not, it's not a big deal to me, is that I put the battery in and there was some battery rattle. The battery did rattle in the tube, which is, it's still slightly rattling in the tube, but it's not noticeable unless I do this, okay? So all I did is I took a uh, piece of electrical tape and wrapped it one wrap, not even a wrap, just one single thickness of electrical tape around the battery at the, at the end, because you don't want to get the battery stuck in the tube. So I put it around the very end and that stopped, you know, 90% of the rattle. Like I can still get it to rattle, but it's not noticeable, like I said, unless I'm, you know, trying to get it to do that. Um, the other Zebra light that I have is not like that. The battery fits in there super tight and it does not do this at all. And I think that that's probably just because there's so many different diameter batteries that they that they opened that up a little bit so more batteries would work is my guess on that but as far as the build quality function as far as has this flashlight in use i've used it for uh, a month has this flashlight ever malfunctioned has it uh has there ever been a problem with it has it ever done anything i did not intend it to do and the that is a no. That is definitely a no. Um, this thing has uh, functioned 100% flawlessly. Uh, I really love how bright it is in such a small package. It's, it's unbelievable. Some uh, people I've seen comment that this flashlight's a little too big to EDC. And, and I'm going to say like, yeah, if you're wearing like, you know, you know, loose elastic fitting women's panties. Yeah, this this flashlight's probably too big. It'll it'll pull your panties down. But if you're wearing big boy pants, full sized man pants or shorts, cargo shorts, stuff like that, it's it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all. So um, I carry it around. This is my favorite EDC flashlight now by miles by a long shot. Um, the UI is really different um, than any other flashlight I've ever used and at first I was like ooh I don't like this but then once I started using it and I got used to it and it just seems like it's the obvious way a multi-function UI should work um, I, my, my opinion has, has changed drastically from when I first started using it it's uh, it just seems to be like second nature now. The, the the low, getting the low beam, getting the middle beam, getting the high beam, no problem. As a matter of fact, I love that if I click this once, 90% of the time, I'm always gonna use the, the high setting, only I have it clicked down one level from the max output, and I like to run it there, and it'll run for, I've never run it so long that it even got more than warm, so, It'll run, as far as I know, <laughs> a super long time uh, on that next to the highest output uh, level. Run it all the time there. I rarely ever have to click it to its highest setting. And the battery will last me all week, a lot. And the battery lasts all week. Uh, when I charge it up, it's, it's about a little less than half. Uh, I've used about a little less than half of the uh, battery power when I charge it. Uh, battery never dims or just does anything funky or weird. The, the beam itself is a little bit wider than I was expecting. This is the warm version or the neutral version, I should say. Pardon me. It's, it's their advertised neutral version. And I think for me personally, it's a little bit wider than I wanted. I love this flashlight, man. This is by far and away my favorite flashlight I've ever had. And I know you've heard me say that before with uh, Army Tech 
flashlights, and I still love Army Tech flashlights, don't get me wrong, but you can clearly see why people think zebra lights are the the unicorn of flashlights. The anodizing, even though it's the best anodizing I've ever seen, uh, clearly, I mean, the, easily the best anodizing I've ever seen on a flashlight, it's slightly, I don't know what color this is. Pewter? Pewter? Is that a color? I, I want to say that the color is kind of pewter. I wish it was traditionally black. I know that it's to stand out, the pewter color is to stand out or whatever. It's their color. All their flashlights are this color. But I do wish that there was a black option, you know, because I just prefer everything to be black. Flashlight, it is expensive. You get what you pay for in this case, though. I mean, if you're on the fence going, man, I don't know if I want to spend that much on a flashlight, I can tell you that I don't regret what this flashlight cost. And I did buy it. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check this out. Uh, there is a, a distributor here in the United States that you can buy these faster. So I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in this light. Uh, but I love it. If there's anything that I've missed that you want to know, any questions that you would like to ask that I didn't cover, um, leave them down in the comments and I'll try and, try and answer them for you. Again, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, I know flashlights aren't everybody's cup of tea, but it's, it's hotter than blazes in Arizona right now. Super blazing hot. So I'm just uh, trying to stay in the algorithm, guys. Just trying to stay in the algorithm. And I know that there are people out there that will appreciate uh, hearing about this flashlight. So talk to you guys later. Uh, on Annie.